when you send a message uh, with Max Miller, you can always see what is happening uh, through Max Miller and the server uh, looking at the delivery panel. It is this panel here. In this panel, you will see all the sequence of commands or, or requests Max Bumeller is sending to the server and you will see all the server responses. For example, let's, um, let's create a test message here, a test subject with uh, some test uh, body. Uh, we will select uh, a sample uh, recipient, for example, myself, and we'll uh, select some, uh, some settings. For example, uh, here we can use uh, my, uh, my default server. And we are going to see uh, what happened when I click on the send button. So we click on send anyway. So here you can see that Max Bungmailer has been first it connects to the server, it's open a connection with the server. You can see here uh, the, the, ser the, the server address. Then uh, as soon as Max Bumeller get connected, gets connected, you can see uh, the word connected, and then uh, Max Bumeller starts with uh, the connection. So the first command uh, Max Bumeller will, will send is the hello command. All hello commands start with a, 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 a higher sign here. Then the server will respond to each command with codes. In this case, uh, a 220 code is uh, returned to Max Bumeller. This is, in this case, informative code, just to say um, the server is here and is listening. This is the first thing you should see when you connect to a server. The server should respond. The server should respond to the first command Max Bumeller um, send. Uh, worst, if you don't get uh, Max Bumeller sending any command at all, it is because there is no uh, no connection established. First, a connection should be established to a given port. Then, uh, it's when Max Bumeller sends the first hello command you can see here. Then the server responds with an informative message, and it is when you can you, the server yeah um, Max Bumeller is um, is starting then uh, with the all the authentication process. You can see here we have uh, set we have selected in the setting um, the login uh, the login uh, scheme for for authentication. So Max Bumeller is sending the appropriate commands the first command the second with the name of the user id the second command with the password and then the response in this case we get a 235 response uh, um, that says authentication successful this is because we have passed the authentication that is we have sent uh, the right uh, user ID and the right password, so the server has accepted, has granted us the access uh, to the server, so now we can start uh, sending email. It is when you can see the next comment here, uh, it is a mail from, uh, it is uh, the, uh, Max Bumeller sending to the server uh, who is, uh, what is the sender email address, then the server responds, okay, 250. Uh, it's okay, uh, the sender address is okay. Then uh, we send a RCPT2, it is uh, the, the, the recipient address in this case. Okay, those 250 again, the server responds, it is okay. The, 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 um, uh, the recipient address is okay. Then you send the message. The command for sending message is data. Uh, you send a uh, maximum send a data uh, command and then uh, it sends uh, the m right after uh, the 354 um, uh, code that is please send me the message uh, maximum sends the message okay then uh, w once the message has been s properly sent you get again a 250 uh, code and then maximum can, can quit because in this case we are, we are only sending um. one single one single message um you see this is here uh, a successful um, a successful uh, delivery so uh, there is here no errors we have um, informa informational codes and we have a, um, a success success code like uh, 254 uh, 250 uh, every, everything is correct in this case we, we can see that Max Bumeller has, has also sent uh, the delivery report 
mm, the default is here. We can see uh, everything is correct. Uh, we we are we will we have we have selected uh, once only only recipient that recipient was sent properly uh, with no error. So it is correct. Now we will introduce an error. So we will uh, we are going to uh, delete um, the the text here of the the connection log and we are going to introduce an error. For example, we are going to um, um, create a, a false um, a false password, uh, an invalid password to see what uh, what happens. Now we are going to send again the message, we are going to reset the list, so the, the email is again in uh, unsent uh, status. Okay, now we send the message again, send anyway, and now we are going to get, to get an error here. Okay, you can see an authentication error occurred while communicating with the server. Uh, check account setting and try again. Max Miller always try to read the error messages and try to uh, show to you uh, something you can you can read easily so you can understand what's happening. So here he say in the command the server has rejected your login because either your account ID or password is invalid or your account is inactive. See the server connection for details. Okay, here you can see if you go a bit. On, on top on the top of the connection log you see again uh, everything was correct uh, the server was able to connect uh, if it was uh, I mean uh, Max Dumelo was able to connect to the server the server uh, um, responds uh, uh, with a 2020 su uh, su connection successful after the hello command uh, then uh, we try uh, we try to do the, um, the authentication so we send the first user ID okay we get uh, an okay response then we we send uh, the um, password but we get an error uh, in this case uh, 535 error uh, error is authentication failed so it is clear here that either the user ID or the password is wrong and um, as a result uh, the server uh, responds with an error and Max Bremler interpret that error and show you something you can understand, something easier to read that, uh, that, uh, that the connection long. Now, if you, uh, in, instead of having a, a problem here with, uh, with the, the, the data, uh, imagine you are using the wrong port. For example, I, I don't know, but in that case, maybe if you put uh, port 45, it is not a, a port for SMTP and you try to connect, again, we are going to uh, delete uh, the delivery log. If you, now, if, you, if you try to connect with the wrong port, in this case, uh, what will, well, it, is, it is responding because this port is, is unloaded. Okay, I, do, I don't know right now what port I should use, uh, maybe this port, let's see. Sign anyway. Okay. My, that server is uh, um, is able to respond to a lot of uh, to a lot of uh, of, uh, of servers. So, look at what we can do here is uh, to use, for example, uh, another server, uh, for example, uh, Gmail, and uh, plus, for example, uh, uh, SSL deactivated um, and maybe um, port um, forty-five here. Let's see if this way we can get a connection error. Send anyway. Okay, now we, we can see um, uh, Gmail. We are trying to connect to Gmail on port 40, 465, and um, uh, there is nothing listening at that port. So uh, the server is trying, the maximum it tried to connect, it is, it is, way, it is waiting a, a, a bit until uh, we get a timeout and uh, the server, the connection to the server is closed because uh, actually uh, no no real connection has been done between the server port and uh, Max Bumeller. So this is an unsuccessful uh, connection because of a port error. Here we have uh, we are using a, a port that is not correct. So as, as, you, can, as you, you have seen, you get also a, an error. Um, here you get also an error uh, for you to understand what's happening. So we get, uh, we, have to, we have to wait for a timeout and what we, we, we get an error. Your message has not been delivered to enter the receiver since no more connection when expected closed by the recipient server. Okay, hope you like this video. 
and uh, it will help uh, for your next uh, MacBook connections. Have a good day.